Of the different forms of energy, electromagnetic energy is unique in that it does not require matter to transfer energy from place to place. Electromagnetic energy is formed when an electrical charge is accelerated by an external force. The acceleration of the electrical field creates a wave of alternating electrical and magnetic fields that separate from the charge and move off into space. This may seem very abstract and might be hard to make sense of. Fortunately, we can discuss the behavior and fate of electromagnetic energy without needing a full understanding of how it is created by these interactions. The central point is that this electromagnetic energy becomes separated from the electrical field that created it, allowing it to transfer energy from place to place even in the absence of intervening matter. Once this wave is created, it moves through space until it encounters matter. When it encounters matter, one of three things can occur. It can reflect off of the matter and continue to move through space in a different direction. Or it can pass through the matter, also continuing on into space. Finally, it can be absorbed. It is through absorption that the energy contained in the wave is transferred to the matter that absorbs it. Which of these three interactions occur depends on the specific characteristics of both the electromagnetic energy and the matter involved. Electromagnetic energy has complicated characteristics which can, which can be difficult to describe. Some features are best explained by assuming that electromagnetic energy is a wave, while other characteristics make more sense when it is assumed to be a particle. In the context of beginning to understand how electromagnetic waves transmit energy from place to place, describing electromagnetic energy as a wave is useful. Waves occur in repeating patterns. The distance between the repeats is called the wave's wavelength. The number of times the pattern repeats itself per second is called the frequency. And the rate at which the wave moves through space is its speed. We use the symbol lambda for wavelength, f for frequency, and c for speed. There is a mathematical relationship between these parameters. Wavelength is measured in meters, frequency in per second, then speed, which is distance over time, equals wavelength times frequency. Substituting symbols for these units allows us to calculate any one of these parameters assuming we know the other two. The speed of electromagnetic energy is constant traveling at 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second in a vacuum. So if we know the frequency of a wave, we can calculate the wavelength. And if we know the wavelength, we can calculate the frequency. 